What's going on guys? Welcome to another video and in today's video I'm gonna give you some tips that will help you learn to code two times faster. One of the most popular problems that most of you face is that you go through a tutorial, it could be on, on YouTube, it could be on Udemy, uh, it could be anywhere, Treehouse, any place that you are starting to learn and you just you are just following the, um, the tutorial and you get to a certain point and you say wow I don't understand anything that's going on in here you watch it again and again and again you just don't understand and you just say okay web development this coding or whatever this is not for me your learning curve it just like goes down because you feel demotivated what you are learning you can't understand and that's that's the biggest problem in here is that you are trying basically you are hitting with your head on the wall trying to learn <laughs> this is just like an expression but you are just like trying to learn maybe from the wrong res uh, resource and this is something that uh, most of you still you don't understand in order for you to learn faster and better and to become a better developer you shouldn't be relying in just one source what i'm trying to say with this is let's say for example if you are just learning from youtube you could be learning just from me from traversy media or just from one you you say oh i just like this one i just like traversy media or i just like telmo or i just like uh, the net ninja or whatever and you are just like following one person it, this could be applied the same for udemy you are just following one udemy course or you are just like following the treehouse or or anything you are going through that place and you are just learning from there and the first problem that you face you are like okay I'm not good for this but here it is here it's the solution what you have to do is to learn from loads of different resources okay so you have to go for example from my tutorials uh, Traversy Media, you have to go to Treehouse, you have to, to grab some books and learn from there. You will see that sometimes you try to uh, learn from someone or from a book or something and you don't understand that that source, that resource is not good for you. You just don't understand. But maybe, this could be for example, let's say you start to learn from this book and you can't understand or you, you, don't, uh, you don't like it and you just feel like oh this is not for me no grab another book and see if you can understand it better this happens all the time with me and i didn't realize it until later that's why i'm trying to do this video with you guys sometimes let's say you go to you go to udacity just an example you're trying to learn this happened with me this happened with me i was going through udacity that was my first nano degree and most of the times i couldn't understand anything of their videos especially the ones in javascript I was like, what the hell is this? Maybe this is not for me or anything. And then I just jumped into Treehouse and everything was so much more clear. And, and here it is. Like, like I said, you need to try different resources until you find one that clicks with you. That you really feel connected, like you feel that you, you can really learn, that you can understand. And another thing is, if you just go, let's say that you go to Treehouse and it's like the best one that you can learn. It, even though you are learning and you are understanding well, you have to understand that uh, one resource, sometimes they don't cover everything. This happens with me, for example, I remember that I was, when I was learning... Um, react when i was learning react i got one course uh, from uh, from udemy from a guy called maximilian something really good course by the way and then uh, uh, i went to for example code academy they have like some kind of free courses in there on, on react and there was some stuff that this guy on udemy didn't cover and then he i i I learned some more stuff from Code Academy and then I went to Treehouse, there was some other stuff that these two didn't cover and your experience like this will be much more richer, richer, I don't know what to say, but uh, as you can see, not one source will not cover all the knowledge, all the things that you need to know, that's why you need to go to different resources all the time, 
find the ones that you really like and just like learn from here and there that's this is like a puzzle okay this is like a puzzle almost like learning to code learning web development is all about going to different sources and learn a bit from here learn a bit from there just one source is not going to be enough and then of course if you want to learn two times faster you have to put in the hours what one of the things that happened to me the most is Let's say that you are learning, you are learning something. The first time you never get it straight away. You, the first time is just like uh, you are getting in touch. You are just getting an impression of what you can do. Because if you try to code after you watch a tutorial or something, most likely you will not be able. You need to go another time, like two times or three times. And then on the third time you will see, wow, now everything is starting to click. Now I know what I'm doing and why I'm doing this and that. So basically that's it the, that I wanted to cover in this video guys is really to, if you are learning from some place, like I said, Udemy, my courses, uh, Traversy Media or whatever, and you go to a certain part that you face a wall and you can't progress because you don't understand, try different sources. Another thing is all the time, for example, if you are following a Udemy course, my YouTube channels, Post a comment down and say, I, I can't or I don't understand this part. I don't know what to do in here. There will be always people, me and other people coming out to you, try to help you out because uh, you are in the Internet. We are connected to the world, basically. But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. This is what I wanted to cover. Make sure that you go through all these different resources. By the way, if you want to support me and my channel, make sure to check my website, thumbsupai.com. I already have three courses in there and now I'm working on my JavaScript and React course as well. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you like it. If you like it, make sure to give me a thumbs up. I want to see if you guys are enjoying my videos or not. And I'll see you in the next video.